Kerala Politics Service Commission. The Kerala Public Service Commission, KPSC, had gone to docks. It is better to rename it as Kerala Politics Service Commission. It is politics and only political influences that lead its way since four years. The commission has become a platform of power politics. The organization is stuffed with political nominees. There are 15 members, including the chairman. They enjoy all comforts and protocol benefits. The icing on the cake is pension. Pension till death after their six year term. But what are they really doing for the unemployed? Literally little or rather well below of what is expected. The suicide of Anu has defamed KPSC to the core. He was 77th in the excise civil officers rank list. But it was cancelled and Anu did not get the job. A depressed Anu committed suicide recently. There are tens of hundreds of Anus in Kerala. Most are denied a job between the cup and lip. But fearful of death or hopeful of life they live. Get going hoping. Why departments shy away from reporting vacancies? Had this been done meticulously, the situation would have been different. Anu would have been an excise official now and many others would have been inducted. But it is Supna and they like getting employment, better known as backdoor entry into employment. Most of these are exclusively for Marxist loyalists. There have been many cases of illegal appointments. Despite candidates awaiting their turn in various PSC rank lists, many get inducted thanks to their political loyalty. Not only that politics shadow the commission but get agitated on accusation. It was about to hammer down a candidate who raised voice against it. But Anu's suicide and series of controversies made them hang up their guns. Apart from politics, is money that matter? Let's take the expenditure angle of the commission. The commission spent crores of rupees on their members. And it continues even after retirement of members. The Kerala PSC has chairman and 14 members. Let's see some other commissions. Andhra Pradesh, chairman plus 8 members. Tamil Nadu, chairman and 2 members. Bihar, chairman and 5 members. Telangana, 1 plus 5. Rajasthan, 1 plus 4. So, Kerala has the highest number of members. But, why do we need 14 members when each member costs crores of rupees to the exchequer? Apart from honorarium, members get perks. Car, driver, phone, allowances, etc. Why these members are given such a lot of facilities? It is time for us to rethink about all these. Why should the body be exclusively with political nominations? Why not a body like PSC have academicians and experts? An overall reshuffle in its functioning is the need of the hour. Let's hope things will be set right sooner than later. Please subscribe the channel. Also, click the bell button to get the latest updates.